Hey everybody, what's up? This is Tim and welcome to another episode of Legacy Studio Reviews. I got a brand new item here that we're gonna unbox and assemble today. This is a shoulder mount from Newer, or Newer, Newer, New. No one knows how to say it, but everyone loves their stuff, and this is no exception. Lots of great reviews on this. Let's open it up and take a look at it. I'm so excited. Cutting this open with a very special knife made by my father-in-law, Ed Caffrey. If you want to look at his stuff, just look up the Montana Bladesmith. You can even find him on YouTube, where he does lots of cool demonstrations. Once again, opening up this cool box leads to one important piece of information. Filming equipment made by whatever that name is, because no one knows how to say that name. Get rid of all the stupid stuff there. And this relatively heavy box. I have yet to open this. I am very excited. Uh, right now I have another mount that I use for my camera, but this is a full size shoulder mount. So this is gonna be the full deal and we're gonna assemble it here in this video. So let's go ahead and get started. Do this unboxing and assembly. Opening it up. <clears throat> and ta -da -da! instructions right on the top, which is great. There we go. All right, we'll put them to the side. Uh, everything nicely bubble wrapped. Pulling out the main mount. That's really pretty, super long mount, which you can't really see here. I gotta remember to get it in the camera shot. Super long mount. I'm very pleased with that. Two screws, which is gonna be great. Uh, nice turning piece here. And button, nice and smooth. So that looks like it'll be just great. Already mounted with the two rods in there, which is super. Looks like these plastic pieces just screw on the front. I'm sorry, I am definitely not exactly in camera angle. I'll try to do a little better. Some extra arms, which apparently you just can't pull them through. Yes, you can't, there we go. And they have a screw mount in the other side, which is gonna be for the back side of this camera, so for the back side of this mount. So I'll make sure they're screwed in nice and tight. Not sure how I feel about these just plastic tips on these things, but hey, whatever. Here is the shoulder pad. Seems like the kind of foam you'd have on a workout machine of some sort. And this, kind of cool, because it's already pre-assembled, it kind of makes this whole process a little easier, is the handles. Little grippy, I can see that being a little sore for your hands at the end of the day, but Truth be told, that's very nice. So, maybe we can start this assembly process and see how this works. So first impressions, this thing looks really, really great. It feels super durable. I cannot, well, I can barely get it to turn. And I certainly don't want to scrape things up trying to force this thing into different scenarios, but that's all I need right there. That feels really good. The only thing I think I'm gonna to need to do is get that extra weight that mounts to the back of this to weigh it down a little. But the next step is then to assemble it to my rig. Let's take a look at the rig now. Okay, so here's my rig. This thing has so many different parts on it and pieces and is all assembled. And I'm really in love with it, but obviously I have to make some changes to make it work for this because this is going to become the new rig basically. Once all is said and done, this bracket down here, this piece made by Terion is gonna be removed and this whole thing is gonna take its place here on the tripod. And that's the main reason why I bought the tripod because I wanted to support a lot of weight and I kind of wanted a docking base for my shoulder mount when I couldn't use it. Uh, or when I wanted to use this in a different way other than being just a shoulder mount. Now, something that's truly a bummer for me that I'm gonna have to figure out, the thing that I love about the Tarion mount is that if you look on the sides here, it's got these two little holes. And these two little holes help you mount these arms. And you can see on this arm here, I have my recorder 
And when I had my other arm here, I actually had my other recorder there as a backup. Um, and it was just a really, really great system and I actually really like how it's built. Um, the mount that's on here does not have any kind of extra mounting holes. And then secondly, the other thing that I love about the Tarion mount is uh, it would be very difficult for you to see probably, but the mount that goes underneath the camera has an ability to actually mount a, um, a viewfinder to it. And I was going to invest in that Tarion viewfinder, but because I can't use this mount anymore because honestly it lifts the camera up too high for the newer uh, follow focus to get to the lens, then I'm going to have to make some changes. Now, one more statement and then I'll get started with the rebuilding process, if you will. Um, the reason why I'm having a hard time to get the follow focus to go onto the camera is because of this small rig. Small rig is the um, cage that goes around the camera. And it's an amazing cage, but it raises the camera up a couple extra centimeters. And I can't lower this Tarion mount any lower. Otherwise, I'd be trying to find a way how to use these parts on this mount. Make sense? Okay. So what we're gonna go ahead and do next is we're gonna begin the disassembly process and hopefully document this as, as much as we can to document removing everything off of here and assembling it on this rig, which I think will be kind of a challenge, but I like challenges. So let's see what we can do. lift it up. Oh, that's really good. <laughs> I'm excited about that. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's awesome. Okay. Now, one thing I'm curious about is if I can swing this arm more forward, which I should be able to just like that. Oh, that's cool, man. That's so cool. So I got it pretty hard lassoed down there. So that is doing exactly what I wanted. That's got follow focus. Now it is super heavy. It is definitely super heavy. So I need more weight in the back. But that to me is a major winner right there. I am so excited with that. Putting the final touches on this rig now. I am super pleased with it so far. Um, everything is going into place as I'm hoping it will. Uh, definitely have a couple little things to work out. Like, I mean, obviously this is going right in the area of where my shot would be. So this is probably something that would need to be wired in a different way or moved out of the way somehow. So it's not in the way of my, my stuff. And then the one other thing that I am still bummed about that is kind of a shame still is I have no place to mount my audio right now. I have a couple different things I can do. One, I can mount it directly to a bar um, or something with a, um, with a clamp, a C clamp or a magic clamp, which I have them, but it's not a secure way. And then the second thing I can do, which I'm thinking I'm probably going to end up having to do, which is not my first preference because I have no intention of making this be locked in like this, but I'm thinking what I'm going to have to do is mount my audio directly to my small rig, which yes, it's there for that purpose, but truth be told, um, this rig protects the camera very well, but when it comes to long screws, they can actually puncture in, uh, past the body and actually go into the body of the camera. So you really have to be careful with how you mount stuff on the small rig, and you wanna make sure that it doesn't affect the camera itself. So I can, amount, I can mount this directly to the camera, like this with the small rig, and then I can put my audio where I need to, to make sure that I have the ability to control its functions. So I think that'll work. I mean, the, the wonderful thing about this is it's not a heavy recorder by any means. So that keeps it, you know, in the right space. And obviously the rig is there for a purpose. I have plenty of room to work with for my follow focus, which I think is absolutely fantastic. So there's a lot of great stuff going on here. This is actually starting to look like a real rig now. But so far, I'm extremely pleased. I'm excited to put this thing to work. 
Um, I'm hoping it works as I'm thinking it will. And uh, yeah, excellent. I feel really good about this. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope that you enjoyed it.